Today we're going to go and see what it's like in the past. Time travel, yes. We're going to explore what it was like back before a Ford Capri, back before Harry's, back to when things worked. And we're good. Let's explore together. Goodbye. Hello and welcome to Mr. Shaves. We're going to be doing some shaving and I'm a mister. So let's get started. We're going to be travelling back in time. Metaphorically, sort of. Yeah, we're going to be travelling back in time. And the reason why is because I have purchased well, something that I've been wanting for ages. And I got it just for Christmas. It's a Gillette Black Beauty. <clears throat> well, to those who know me, most people would understand that I am a fan of the colour black. Yeah, it's not a colour, blah, blah, blah. Yeah. This is an adjustable. <clears throat> it's 1971. And this is one of those with a metal main top. Some of the ones later on had like a baker like plastic, kind of this base bit. Whereas these are now, prior to that, this is the last of the few of those adjustables. So it's kind of like the Fat Boy, a bit longer, a bit slimmer. And um, I've used this for about a month and I've really, really enjoyed it. It's a really good shave. And uh, that's... when I got it, I cleaned it with a toothpaste and some and a toothbrush. And then I stuck it in the dishwasher, open. And then after that, I give it a bit of a clean uh, just to kind of get rid of some stuff. But it's come up really, really well. I'm really pleased with that. So that's the... Gillette Black Beauty from 1971. So that's one step into the past. Step two is this someone has been asked questions about was it the bowl, was it the brush? This is the weird thing that my wife bought me, which was 99p on um, eBay. It says Gents Razor and Brush, West Germany. So there you go. It, it's like a box, there's a few of these on there. And it comes with like a presentation box that clearly states this is bore brush, this is a wood handle, and then this really pants uh, <laughs> razor. There we are. So it's one of those. I've been given these in my life and I have no idea where to replace them. But there you are. So I'm not going to use this because it's just. You know, there's no way of tightening up. It just comes off. I could glue it, I suppose. But I have no interest in that at all. But I do have an interest in the brush. But interestingly, like I said, it does say pure, sterilised pure bristles, West Germany. So, um, West Germany. So it's quite interesting. Because our stuff in a presentation box, linked with golf, which I don't play, so that's something from the 90s, prior to the unification of Germany. Then, to celebrate the Black Beauty, I purchased this stuff, which is all over the UK shops. This is King Gillette Shaving Oil and King Gillette Bar Beard Balm, Post Shave Beard Balm. Gonna have a go at those. And... Uh, what are we going to shave with? What stuff? I'm going to answer you now. Taylor's of Bond Street Lavender Shaving Cream. And we're going to look at that later on. And uh, I bought this. Some Yardley's London, Gen London Gentleman. This is the... Uh, and I bought it because it's got lavender in. And I thought it would go well with the shaving cream. So there you go, it's a load of stuff to go through. We're going to do this and uh, bring you along with me on our road to review. Thank you very much. Here we go. 
So, first of all, I've got a new bowl as well. I've got this from Sainsbury's, terracotta. I'm going to give this a try. I thought it might create a bit of a better lather. Because the other one was all right, but just too too slick on the inside, whereas the, the terracotta might uh, give me a bit of resistance. So I've soaked my brush in there. What with it being broad brush, you need a bit of a soak. Oh. Now that is purple. It's shaving cream, actually. Um, it's not really soft shaving cream. It's like in between soap and like usual cream. But that smells very lavendery. Oh. But not, but like a sweeter version, like a lighter. It's not too heavy. Let's give it a try. So I'm gonna put a bit of water on the brush because. I don't want it to be too dry. So I'm just kind of picking that up. Got quite a lump on there. Put it in the bowl, my new bowl, so I'm going to find out with you, along with this lavender stuff, if it's any good. So, here we go, got to give it a bit of a... And you can actually see it! Yay! Brilliant! God, it really smells lavendery. I mean, you can't smell anything else other than lavender. But I like lavender, so it's a win-win. Look at that. That is good. I think it may be a bit, maybe a bit of water. Just to kind of... Right. Even the white is a little bit lavendery coloured. Right, here we go. Oh, pre-shave oil. Look at that, I'm just getting so excited. So this is King Gillette, and it's to the pinnacle of over a century's worth of innovation and expertise. And the only range that bears the name of our company's founder, King C. Gillette. Our beard oil is infused with a blend of oils such as argan oil, jojoba oil, avocado oil, to moisturise dry skin, and soften your beard. There you go. It's always good to read the blurb. I don't read it an awful lot. Do you always read the blurb? The blurb, you know, the stuff written on the back. So, let's have a nip of this one. Just put a couple of squirts, I think. Hmm. Now, what, what can I describe that as? Kind of leathery tobacco kind of smells. What's in it? Will it tell me? Beard oil. Oh, argan oil. I did read it. I read it out, didn't I? Oh. Yes, yeah, so argan oil. Hobo oil, avocado oil. Yeah, it feels really moisturising and quite thick. I always put on a pre shave oil. I just think it's. It helps that first contact with the blade. That's just my personal preference. Right, we're going to go for this Taylors of Old Bond Street. Now, Taylors of Old Bond Street have been going for a long time, and their real name is Taylors of Old Bond Street Court Hairdressers. So, and they've got the royal seal on some of this thing. So, oh, look at that. God, that smells really nice. A light lavender scent slapped on. Oh, that's really good. I always find when I bought Teddy's of Bond Street stuff, it always goes a long way. That's really nice. Oh. Right, now to break out the Gillette Black Beauty. I have it on setting nine. Do you see? And that works for me, but some people do five and then just adjust one or the other way. 
So here we go. So we're going to use this. And it's got a feather blade in. I've used it a few times. Hmm. So I've had a bath previously, and that really makes it just slide along. You've got the full control, you haven't got this kind of flexy head like those Harry's razors that I didn't like. In fact, my wife's using it for her legs. I was quite happily going to chuck it in the bin. But there you are. So. Oh, that's nice. Really smooth, thick cream. And the good thing about it, this sort of shave is it's different from the usual kind of squirt stuff, shave, then you're done type thing. You, you have these beautiful smells and things for your skin that really helps lift your mood, lift the day, makes it a bit special. And you've got that kind of lavender smell on your face. It's really nice, thin handle. It's really easy to grip. Um, it's got like a plastic kind of covering, which is gnarled and kind of grippy. So it's really no problem at all. To hold, it's actually a real pleasure. Have I got a cut? No, I haven't. Feels good. And the good thing about the long handle is you can hold it a bit further back if you've got a beard so you can see where things go. Whereas if you haven't got a beard, you don't have to worry, you can just do that. I found when I do a video. This is the perfect time for all my neighbours to come out. Send out your kids, start reversing your cars, put out your rubbish, maybe shout. But um, I can I can cope with it. I'm a real person. Right, so it's past one. That's good. I'm liking that. Right, round two. I think I'm gonna put a bit more water into the mix. Getting that lava, it does take a bit of patience. Um, it doesn't always come straight away. <clears throat> and you get a sense of, maybe I need another dip in the soap, or it's too dry, I need a bit of water, just to kind of bring it out a bit. So that's good. That oh, smells so nice. So, we're well into 2023. Lots of things in the news at the moment. In the UK, we've got strikes galore. Everyone's striking. Postmen, ambulance, nurses, I think teachers in Scotland. Another strike in the UK. So, that's what they're doing, striking. And then in America, we've got Joe Biden, who's, and Donald Trump, who like keeping classified documents in bizarre places. But Joe Biden was like, no, that's terrible, Trump. But then he's been keeping his next to his Corvette in the garage, accessible to a certain Hunt Biden. So it's quite interesting, really. We've had. We're well into the year. The news stories are not just hope. 
for the year to come, but kind of here we go. There you go. That was nice. Well, oh, that hurt. Okay. Yeah, this is good. I really love this model. I'm looking forward to using the Gillette. Um, post shave stuff. And then I've got a, another thing which I'm going to share with you, which I think is a little bit of a, a thing from the past. Good. I think we'll just do two rounds today because I've cut myself. And survival is the very basic prerequisite for having a shave. That's, that'll do. Actually, it's really smooth. So that's the Gillette 1971 um, Black Beauty full metal top bit and um, you can get them with a plastic some people collect all sorts of them when I first started I thought oh, I just want to get one but you get all these different things I really want to try the leaf twig um, or whatever they call the twig leaf or whatever it's called there's loads of different uh, interesting razors injector razors some of my friends on YouTube were saying about injectors I want to go for the most minty shave possible. I think I've done one of those, but maybe the most cozy shave or the most I'm going to work shave. So all these things you can do when you double-edged safety razor shave. So there you go, that is that one. So I'm gonna dry my face and then, and then, I'm going to use this. So this is King Gillette Soft Beard Balm Conditioning and Cocoa Oil. Uh, it's got alcohol in it as well. Okay, so it's kind of like a translucent sort of liquid. I'm not going to put too much on because it looks a bit, you know, I don't want to have a wet face all evening. Mm. Smells all right. Oh, that's quite nice. It's hard to tell. It's kind of um, leather and tobacco-y, you know, a manly, manly smell, not floral, although I like floral smells. So there you go. That's that one. And my... Pièce de résistance is this Yardley's. So I saw it in the shop. I thought it would go along with the lavender because it's got lavender in. There you go. This one's called Gentleman Urban. And Yardley's is something that have been going for years in the UK doing men's stuff. I know Frank Sinatra used to have one that Sinatra Lennon, um, who does a YouTube video of shaving reviews, has got the uh, the same smell from the kind of 70s or whatever. I like lavender, unlike Sinatra Lennon. And uh, this one's very mild. So this one says here, Yardley's Gentleman Urban. Uh, blend of bergamot, lavender on the top, masculine notes of thyme and tarragon settles to rich, dried down of sandalwood, patchouli and musk. So there you go. So I'm going to square my face. Cool. That was a... <laughs> God. Now I really like that smell. And I tried it on the wife and she liked it as well. It's very 
it's got all those smells. It's got a deeper kind of smell, but it's got some higher kind of spicy element to it. So it's not, I think that's really nice. And that was 20 quid in boots. So there you go. So the overall review, I found this okay. <clears throat> As a shave oil, it's okay. Yeah, it does the thing. It does the job. I, um, I would say 6 out of 10. Soft beard balm. It's not a remarkable smell. I, I like a nice smell. The texture is a bit kind of translucent, kind of gel type stuff. So I would say a 4 out of 10 for that one. And it has, didn't really soothe a lot. The lavender, Tales of Bond Street, now I would say that's a 10 out, that's a 5 out of 10, or 10 out of 10, whatever it is. 10 out of 10, really lavendery, thick, worth it, shaving cream. This, I think, is a brilliant piece of art. I love it. It's got such a good, controllable, it's not too thick. It's a thin handle, you can use it for the beard because you can extend this bit and just so you can see where you're going. I'm bleeding all over the place. Uh, that's good. This brush, I like wood with ball brush. This is really good, I would say a good 10 out of 10 for that one. And I really like this terracotta bowl. It's good, it's convenient, it's not too big and uh, does the lathering well. So all in all, is that everything? Yeah. All in all, a very satisfying evening um, shave. I hope you enjoy that. And I hope you try it at home and let me know what you think of your favourite stuff. Have a nice day and goodbye.